Hello buddy and welcome back for a new video. This right here is the one hundred stack of fusion and let's just go ahead and go straight in to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fire this cannon here and basically what happened here is that we made it a little less scatter. Um, but it is still pretty damn decent. Uh, right now there's a little bit of lag. But this right here is around 50 blocks so that still should be able to to give you guys the feeling whenever you wait somebody goes all the way down, you know. Uh, but basically a 50 block scatter, just around 50 blocks, and that will also help with uh, the use of TNT so you don't have to fill it as much. Uh, but all in all, it is still a very, very big scatter, uh, so you should be able to get to um, two walls and, and still create a decent, decent sized hole. Uh, it could be a little bit bigger, maybe 10 blocks, but other than that, it, it couldn't really do it. But uh, as you see, it's working perfectly, there's no problems whatsoever. Um, Alright, I forgot TNT toggle. But sometimes I actually get that really... Okay. Sometimes I actually figure out, like, if I do that, then the sand compression doesn't work for some reason. Which is kind of weird. Uh, but let's just go ahead and count a little bit more here. And as you can see, it is the same scatter all the way through. Um, right here, you see, there is this water, uh, sorry, uh, water block in between. Whoop. There we go. You could actually go ahead and make it blow up a little bit faster. So just say like you want to make this so you can do water layer walls. Then you can always just take this here to one tick instead of two ticks. And you will still get that. But then you wouldn't really have the same hole. Uh, so be aware that if you do have uh, layer water walls, then it might actually clip if you don't change the scatter. Uh, but it should be very simple for you guys to change it. It's very, very simple. So now with that is set. Let's go ahead and fire a few more times here. And we are coming over to the filters. Let's go, that's three more walls. All right, great. And as you can see, it can go kind of far up and you can shoot many, many times with it 100 stacker. I'm pretty sure you can shoot like 10 times, maybe a little bit more than 10 times. And that's because I increased the sand compression a lot. I didn't, wa I didn't really want to do like an eight long one, uh, or sorry, a six long one because I, I just don't feel like that's enough. I kind of want to be able to shoot many times with this because you can use this um, on bases just to fuck with them and you can't, you can't block it up or something like that. So that is kind of kind of nice. Now, now we have this folder here. You see that this right here is actually obsidian. And of course, this cannon here can get to them in two shots, but you can change it around so you can do it in one shot. All you have to do is simply just disable this... Um, scatter right here you can do that right there and then it's disabled and then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to take these out right here and then you're going to build this up to it so this way you will be able to get uh oh, sorry, there we go and these are of course in full text all of them all the way down and when you do this then it will actually work as a one shutting obsidian uh, and that's because we're using all this tnt here shooting up at once and kind of just blowing up uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six TNT in this right here. And I'm pretty sure it's normally, it, it's around five doability on an obsidian. I'm pretty sure that that's just around it. Uh, but it doesn't really matter because you can just shoot twice. Like right now I'm going to shoot once and you see if it doesn't get to it. That doesn't say that we're going to clip at all. We can still just shoot one more time. Um, so let's go ahead and shoot one more time with this cannon right here and you'll see that we get through it and we didn't clip and that's because everything is inside one block so nothing can stop this cannon here and basically the ticks and everything on the cannon is made so you should just be able to sh just press the button and the cannon will go for at least 20 chunks without actually changing anything. I'm sorry if you can use a little bit of background noise. My, my dog is actually sick. Uh, it's got a disease, a very common disease but, um, to dog breeds and, and stuff like that. But uh, so sorry about that, but as you see, it can go through trapdoors as well, uh, with no problems, one shot, um, and that's very simple. Now for the 45 degrees, of course, we're going to go ahead and play around with that a little bit. So, the 45 degrees, of course, it can go through that as well. There's simply, there's nothing this cannon here can't go through, so whatever you put in front of this cannon here, it will be able to go through it. And right here, that's because all this is source. Uh, so, of course, that's going to fuck it up a little bit. But uh, I'm pretty sure you get the understanding of it. But this is basically the 100 stacker. And I'm going to go around the uh, cannon right now. I'm also going to water it a little bit here. And then I guess we'll call it for the day. But anyways, what you have to do is you have to water it right here. And right here, you only need one water source if you really, if you really like, want to 
you, if you don't have many water bugs or something, you can just use one. Um, but no matter what, this right here cannot blow up. This part right here, there's nothing it can blow up because wherever the sand is falling, uh, it will either get stuck right here or it will fall down and break. Uh, so this section here cannot be broken. Like the entire sand compression cannot blow up, never. If this cannon, if this, sorry, sorry if this, um, if this sand compression is fucking up, then it's 100% the server because, yeah, you you, you can't break it, all right? Uh, because there's nowhere the TNT can go in anywhere. Like, there's this, there's just no way, no way to do it. Anyways, let's go ahead and water this up here as well. There we go. Now that I've done, this is going to fall a little bit. It's going to go end right here, but that's just fine. Um, you can actually just make a block wherever right here or something like that. You could do that, but I'm just going to leave it like that, to be honest. Um, but I'm putting, yeah, yeah, actually, actually, now that I think about it, you could do it like that. Oh, maybe not. All right, close. <laughs> Anyways, that was the sand completion. Let's go ahead and go to the cannon itself. Right here is uh, what I call the roof. All you have to do is just go ahead and spam water buckets in all over the place. Up here where the power is. And then, of course, the booster for the power, which is down here. Do it right there. Oops, there and there. Now that is watered. Now we need to do the TNT correct right here. It should water protect it itself, but be aware that the sponge is under that repeater, meaning that if it's on your server reaching three blocks instead of two, or two blocks instead of three, then this here might not even like be able to be watered. Then you need to move the sponge. Anyways, that was the TNT correct. Let's go ahead and do the slap boss right here. And then of course the hammer itself like that. And that is basically it. Now just quickly make sure that something like this right here is watered. Um, other than that, then you guys are pretty much ready to fire this cannon here. Uh, before I know it off this video here, I kind of want to go ahead and show you guys uh, around the cannon so you know where to change th things and stuff like that. Right here, we have the scatter, as you, I already told you, and disable that by simply going there. The red sand, is, which is right here, you can disable that by just taking out that right there. Then that should be disabled. Um, over here, we have the ticks for the hammer, as well as the other side over here. If you want to change the ticks on the hammer, you change it on these repeaters and, oops, I'm lacking, oh, there we go. Change it on these repeaters and not this one down here. This right here is uh, timed perfectly with the power. So this right now here is on zero ticks. Um, so, of course, if you're shooting a little bit further, then, then just add a tick uh, if you are meeting any problems. Um, right here we have space for a repeater. If you want a downward hybrid or something like that, you could use that right there. Very simple. Uh, but other than that, just a very, very easy uh, cannon, and I really like the, the setup of this, and I uh, hope you guys do as well. But I think that'll be it for this video here, and it looks like my dog is... Alright, um, but I think, anyway guys, I think that'll be the end of this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video here, and if you do... Oh my god. <laughs> and if you do, remember to like this video here. Comment down below if you have any questions, problems, whatsoever you might have. And as always, guys, oh, uh, he's really sick. And, and as always, I actually took him to the doctor, and there was not really anything you could do other than give him some pills. But anyways, uh, anyways, I'm getting off to something here. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. My name is Dexter. And I'm out.